sub you to Simply. Oh, lucky. And today we have a very epic, very massive Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul Fusion Booster box opening. No one asked you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And so this is going to be a massive, a massive new box opening and review for Soul Fusion, you guys. So we're going to start off with a normal opening speed of one booster box. And so you guys can check it out and go slowly through the first box. After that, we're going to speed it up because I would like to show you all the cards in the set. So that is the goal of this video. So we can get a review at least of all the secrets, some of the ultras, and just get a good flow going. So this video will speed up after the first box, but it still will be a longer video. But it'll be very enjoyable for those that want to see the different cards and the pull ratios. My God, the pull ratios. But before we get into pull ratios, I do want to give a shout out to simplyunlucky.com. You guys, we will have the entire set, all the singles, multiples of all the singles over there. And we do have the ra ratios this time. Um, so we will not sell out of a certain card that Konami has short printed, which seems to be their new thing now. But yeah, we have uh, all singles for Soul Fusion on the website now. Should be around a similar price as other websites. Um, also, we have sealed Soul Fusion booster boxes for you guys. And uh, so go check that out. Also, we're using Kaiba Corp sleeves today, and those are also on simplylucky.com. Link in the top of the description below. All right, you guys. So Soul Fusion. Ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with the short print. There's a marketing guy over at TCG Konami headquarters, and he's like, yo, we already know what the market's going to be like in Japan. How do we make more money? Let's short print the best cards in the set, and let's make the best cards in the set the highest rarity. Beautiful. Done. So here we go. Thunder Dragon Colossus is like one per case, two per case at the most. This is, it's incredible. The card should be like a normal $40 to $60 card, but now it's going to be like $80 to $100 because it's one or two per case. I don't know. Just kind of, if you're going to make, if you're going to short print cards, at least make them a higher rarity or ultimate rarity so that it looks cooler for us when we're chasing these super expensive, valuable cards. I don't know. I just feel like just short printing cards at the same rarity just seems to, I don't know. But uh, so this set, you guys, ratios are a bit off the wall, a little dangerous, and uh, but this set is exciting overall. Very good set. Um, so everyone's pretty hyped. Let's get started. Soul Fusion booster box. So you have Thunder Dragons in here. That is obviously the main set. Um, then you have some more Danger cards. Um, Noble Knights. Noble Knights support. Gravekeeper support. I didn't see that one coming. And so let's just get straight into it. Soul Fusion, first pack. Okay. Until Noble Arms are needed, once again. <laughs> Straight up, looks like Garen. Uh, World Dino Wrestling. World Legacy, World Wand. And I know there's a new Dino card in here that's really valuable for a common. Uh, Mystric Holder. Uh, Salamandra Great. Salamandra Great Heatlo. Heatleo. So the Salamandra cards. Salaman cards, I guess. So there's our super and our rare. Predator plants are also in here. Um, orchestrated core. That's part of the uh, that one archetype. Dino wrestler. A, uh, Diana, the light spirit. Thunder 1700. That's cool. Okay. Next pack. World legacy, world chalice. That whole uh, storyline archetype. Salaman great fox. Foxy. Agave Dragon, Salman Great Jack Jaguar, Bear Blocker, Noble Knights, Ivane. Huh. Ivane, how would you say that? Uh, Clock Wyvern, Diplexer Chimera, The Mirror, Incantation, Pencil Plume. Wow. So, Incantations are back as well. Okay, we have Incantation Bookstone, Edge Imp Cotton Eater. That's a cool picture. Uh, Dino Wrestler Capitara. A our first secret rare orchestrated return. Um, this card, let's see, when you have such valuable secret rares in the set, it kind of puts like a, a ceiling on the price of the other secrets in the set. But uh, it's still very interesting to see a lot of secrets in the set are pretty good for certain archetypes. So. Orchestrated Return might not be the best secret in the set, but still, send an Orcrust or World Legacy Monster from your hand or face up on the field of the graveyard. Draw two cards, and you can only activate once per turn. I mean, that's a good card, so um, still interesting to see that. Of course, we got our Necro Valley cards now. That is super cool. 
uh, Necro Valley Temple. And I do want to talk about some of these effects, but we'll kind of review them maybe as we go through the boxes. Uh, the Revenge of the Normal. Hey, that's kind of like the uh, the other normal spell. What is it? Law of the Normal? Something like that. Patchwork Fluffle? Oh, there's Patchwork. Well, they made this a common. Uh, the Mirror and Diplexer come here. I know people were waiting for that for a while. Let's go ahead and get our Kaiba sleeves going here. And sleeve up. Woo! Orchestrated Return. So our first secret rare. Hopefully getting at least two secrets in this box. Dino Wrestler King T. Rextel. Invincibility Barrier. Galaxy Brave. Crusadia Crawler. Necro Valley Throne, nice. This card is incredible. Um, activate one of these following effects. Add one Gravekeeper's Monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. Immediately after this resolves, normal summon a Gravekeeper Monster. Options, you can only activate one per turn. Options, I love it. Gravekeepers could always use a Searcher. Uh, Orchrist Harp Horror. Okay. Uh, DDD Super Doom King, Purple Armageddon. Ostinato. Galaxy uh, Cleric. It'd be pretty insane if we pull Colossus on our first box. Rise of the Salaman Great. Interesting name to go with. Nice! A ultra rare Thunder Dragon Dark. So we're pulling this guy. He's definitely, um, I'd say, the more consistent value one for ultra rares. These cards are insane, you guys. All right. Quick effects. You can discard this card to add a Thunder Dragon Dark from your deck to your hand. So it's just kind of similar to that whole Thunder Dragon effect of discarding Search Out More Thunder Dragons. Um, but that puts him in the grave. And then if this card is banished or sent from the field to the grave, you can add a Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand. Except Thunder Dragon, or sorry, Thunder Dragon Dark, yeah. And then you can only use one Thunder Dragon effect per turn. Thunder Dragon Dark effect per turn. Absolutely insane. Thunder card, Thunder Dragon card. So he's your searcher. He's definitely going to hold his value out of all the different uh, Thunder Dragon Ultras for sure. Um, incredible, you guys. And then, have you seen Gold Sarko? Gold freaking Sarko searches out these guys and they get their effects off of it. What the heck? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, Gravekeeper's Supernaturalist. I feel like we could have done a, done a little better on the name there. But two Gravekeeper Monster Fusion. Does some cool stuff. Crusadias, Necro Fusion, that's that one card, uh, the Stegosaur, and Concentrating Current. So, already a decent box, you guys. Like, these boxes, you know, normal box value on release, $65 value, and here you are pulling a $15 to $20 Ultra, Orchestrated Attack, World Dino Wrestling, World Legacy, World 1, uh, the Orchrist Orchestrator. Orchestrator. There we go. Toll Hike. Classic Toll cards are back. Each player must send one card from their hand to the grave to declare an attack. Huh. The Salaman Great Falco. These Dino Wrestlers and Salaman Great. Um, if you guys want to post in the comments below if you want to see some deck profiles uh, for these decks and we can do a little duel between them. That'd be fun. Invincible Barrier, Salman Great, Emerald Eagle, Danger Dogman. It's a pretty cool danger card. Dogman. Why Dogman? <laughs> uh, Thunder Dragon's 100 Thunders. Gravekeeper Spiritualist. Incantation. Sanctuary, Falco. Getting close to finishing up on the right side here. The Bookstone, Dino Wrestlers, Thunder Dragon Duo. Um, this one's pretty cool. This one banishes the Thunder Dragons in the grave. Um, so that's a good way of, you know, starting to pull your combos off, like Dragon Dark going, searching for stuff and all that cool cool effects. So uh, also pretty powerful, though. 2800. I don't think you would play too many of that, though, in the deck. And then Orchestrated Babble. Spiritualist. Will of the Salamangrate. Patchwork. Gift. The Crusadius. 
Falgo, Justice for Hire. Token Collector. I like little goblin token cards, honestly. Pretty cute. It's a rare. Uh, DD Super Doom Kings. Crusadias. Looks like we've seen almost most of the commons just from one side of a box. Agave. Invincibility Barrier. Second Expedition into Danger. Okay. Fright, work, Fright for Patchwork. There we go. As a rare, add a edge monster and a polymerization from your deck to your hand. That's what we were looking for. Very powerful card for that deck. Subsurface Stage Diver. Spread of Plants. Orchestrated Core. Rise of the Salaman Great. Giant Ballpark. Alvis. Oh, Galaxy Eye Soul Flare Dragon. That's pretty sweet. Alvis of the Nordic Alphar, though. There's uh, the new Nordic guy. Pretty freaking amazing. Um, Galaxy Eye Soul Flare Dragon, though. Very nice card there. Beautiful. Or Crust Brass Bombard. It's got some Nordic support, or one Nordic support, I guess. <laughs> I didn't sleeve that up. We just did that Destiny Hero Nordic duel. That was fun. So, uh, if you're going to bring back your monsters from the grave, the card that says they can't attack, probably shouldn't allow them to attack. Uh, Salamangrate. Gift. Crusadia's Extra Foolish Burial. Nice. Orcrest Symbol Skeleton. So are all these Orcrest cards like instruments? Diana, Revenge of the Normal. All right, now for the left side. Can we get an epic pool on our first box here? Diana, Wrestlers. Pancroplop. Wow. Bookstone, Noble Knights. The Harp. Eternal Galaxy. Two for one team. There you go. Short print. Both players show one of their cards. Monster, Spell, Trap. Gravekeeper, Spiritualist. Pred of Plants. It's just crazy how good cards have gotten. Parallel Panzer. Extra Foolish again. Nice uh, Thunder Dragon Matrix. This card's pretty sweet. Quick effect, you can discard this card to target a Thunder Monster you control against 500 attack. Um, if this card's banished or sent from the field to grave, add another one of these guys from your deck to your hand. Only use one effect per turn. Pretty cool. Patchwork Fluffle. Diplex Chimera. Predoplast. Salamangrace. Nice! A Danger Thunderbird. That's actually a really good secret rare. Um, I mean, not... I don't know. This set has a whole bunch of really good secret rares, honestly. I don't want to... <laughs> There's too much going on. Um, so let's talk about it. Th Danger Thunderbird. Danger! You can reveal this card in your hand. Your opponent randomly chooses one card in your hand and then discards the chosen card. Then if the discarded card was not Dungeon Thunderbird, special summon one Thunderbird from your hand. And if you do, draw one card. If this card is discarded, you can target one set card your opponent controls and destroy it. So really good. And it's a 2800 8 star winged beast. So it'll probably be in all winged beast decks. And there's Fright for a Patchwork again. Go ahead and use our Kaiba sleeves here. Danger Thunderbird. So another decently valued secret in the set. Of course, the Thunder Dragon cards will hold a much higher value. And that's when we start speeding up, seeing most of the cards. Orcris Automation. Cards look pretty sweet. Core. Inzast. Einsaz. There we go. Eincrad. Next pack. Crusadius. Alfar. Nice. Cyber's Clock Dragon. That's the guy on the pack. Cool. Cyber's Clock Dragon. Again, holding some decent value as well. Necro Necrofusion. I'm always interested in the story behind these. It, feel, it feels like a very vast storyline going on 
in this whole uh, world legacy or crust. I don't even know. They seem to just add another chapter every time I look at these cards. Giant ballpark. Danger Mothman. <laughs> Love it. Danger Mothman. That's a cool one. Okay. Consolation Prize. Eternal Galaxy. Two for one. Gravekeeper Spiritualist. Hey, Giant Ballpark. That's a lot of those insect cards. Agave. Some Summer Summoner. I had fun with that one. Two Thunder Monsters, and it's a Link. Once per turn, your opponent's turn. Quick effect, you can discard one card, then target one Thunder Monster in your grave, except special summon to your to the zone this card points to. It's usable. Thunder Dragon Discharge. So, a Mangrate on Sinedo. So it's like, if we get another, if we get two, like, Thunder Dragon Ultras in a box, it's still such a valuable box. Thunder Dragon Duo. Token Collector again. So, man, great. And just a few more packs on this left side here. Herald of the Abyss. Interesting. Like, Ante. And, uh, Abyssal. Where's he pointing? Uh, Galaxy Cleric. That wrestler. Herald of the Abyss. Sky Striker Maneuver. Victor. Vector Blast. Sorry. Cool. Uh, Goki Pole. His insects. Alright. I guess that's where the, the pitch comes from. Giant game. Alright, two more packs. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. It's brave. Ooh, danger response team. Not a bad ultra, right? It's a dangerous card for sure. Gravekeeper's Headman. I love the new Gravekeeper cards. And then the last pack. So we got four ultras and two secrets. So we got... Yeah, we got our normal ratio for this box. I'd say this is your kind of average box for this set, and it's still so dang valuable. So, I mean, that's crazy to think about that this is a average box where you get twenty plus dollar secret, you know, fifteen dollar, fifteen dollar valued ultra, and then kind of you know around the five dollar value for everything else. But then, you know, maybe not getting your full monies back, but still, pretty. I mean, I think you are it's still being pretty dang close. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set our ultras right here. And then we're kind of going to just keep going until we get the whole set. So this is going to be a massive opening, you guys. Thunder Dragon Dark. And let's see if we can get some epic cards. Heart of the Cards, guide us. Here we go, next box. So we are now going to speed up, you guys. It is going to be a quicker opening at this point. And I'm hoping to show you guys the new cards and their new effects. And on the way, we can check out some of those cool rares you guys are probably interested in. The Gravekeepers. Why not? Okay, the Dragon's back. Mystic. And there's Patchwork. Concentrating, Diana, Necrofusion. Patchwork would be cool as like an ultimate rare. Invincibility, Danger Mothman, Necro Valley Temple. Let's check out the temple. While Gravekeeper's Monster and Necro Valley are both on the field and your opponent controls, monsters your opponent controls loses 500 attack and defense once per turn during the main phase. If you control no cards in your field zone, you can activate Necro Valley directly from your hand or deck, or sorry, hand or graveyard. If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's effect instead of the grave, you can set one Necro Valley spell card, spell slash trap, directly from your deck, except Necro Valley Temple. That is a good card. So kind of like a... Uh, was that? I can't remember that card that minus 100 attack for each star they had. So minus 500 attack and defense permanently, and still this cool stuff. Dino Wrestler, Incantation. Oh baby, there we go. Thunder Dragon Titan. Um, so this is your mid-tier Thunder Dragon. Valuable, secret, crazy card here. <clears throat> I believe 10 stars. Alright, here we go. Three... 
Thunder Dragon Monsters must either be fusion summoned or special summoned by banishing one Thunder Dragon Monster from your hand and one Thunder Dragon Fusion Monster you control, except Thunder Dragon Titan, in which case you do not use polymerization. <coughs> polymerization. When a Thunder Monster's effect is activated in the hand, even during the damage step, quick effect, you can destroy one card on the field. If this card be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish two cards from your grave instead. 3200 attack, 3200 defense, Thunder Dragon Titan, and they made it look like exactly like the Dragon Ball Z uh, Dragon guy, which I'm not going to remember his name right now, but he's cool. And nice, Thunder Dragon Matrix to go with. Very cool. So, already a very good box, getting over half your value back from one card. Thunder Dragon Titan. Man, I think it's really cool that they created an archetype based off of a popular classic card that was a pretty cool card. I mean, I think they're maybe thinking like, let's create another dragon archetype. Well, what about Thunder Dragon? That's a cool guy. All right, let's make it all around him. Herald of the Abyss. So. Then it gets to America and they're like, and then let's make it more valuable and expensive by short printing cards that are more valuable. Some more part. Threat of Blast. Galaxy Eyes, Soul Flare Dragon again. This guy's a fun guy. Fun guy. All right, uh, this is two Gravekeeper monsters. Gains attack and defense equal to the combined original levels of materials to use in the fusion. Times 100. Interesting. While Necro Valley's on the field, this card and any card in your field zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. During your main phase, you can activate this effect during um, the end phase of the turn and add one Gravekeeper's monster from, or Necro Valley, card from your deck to your hand. So you can at the end phase. Seems like just a consistent card that uh, hold, helps you uh, stay in the lead. Doesn't really maybe gain you an advantage, but if you are in control, he will keep your control. Giant Ballpark. This Thunder Dragon Duo. Clock Sparto. Sparto? However you say that. It's our first one of those. Interesting. Diplex, Necrofusion. Okay, let's go ahead and speed up again. Remember, you guys, all cards are on simplyunlucky.com. Cyanet Fusion. There we go. Danger Dogman. So. Singles, booster boxes, Soul Fusion. Available now, you guys. Simplelucky.com. Here we go. World Legacy. The Orchest Orchestrator. For some reason, every time I see that, I'm like, what? Gravekeeper's Spiritualist. Is that the other one? Foxy. Second Expedition. Um, <laughs> Orchest Harp. Patchworks. Of plants, Salaman Gray Jack Jaguar, the Justice for Hire, a Goki Pole. And I think at this point we have seen all commons going through an entire box and half a box. A blocker, ooh, that's a cool ultra. Morgan, the Enchantress of Avalon, actually a pretty good Noble Knights card. And a pretty sweet ultra rare. See, it's interesting because again, there's there's a ceiling on all the other cards in the set because the Thunder Dragon cards are worth so much. But these are actually pretty good cards for their different archetype decks. Activates card effect while you control Noble Knights monster and Noble Knight Arms equipped. Quick effect: you can send this card from your hand to the grave to destroy one Noble Arms equipped spell you control. And if you do negate the activation of the effect, and then you can only activate this effect once per turn. So this, she's the hand trap. There we go. And she's okay. She's not the best, but it's still cool for Noble Knights to have a hand trap. So that's Ultra. Uh, Thunder Dragons, 100 Thunders. Diana. And again with our Kaiba Corp sleeves. Beautiful. Over on SimpleLucky.com if you guys want to check those out as well. Let's go ahead and put... I don't know why I keep putting the supers there. Last pack on the right side. Okay. Necro Valley Throne again. Nice. Toll Hire. Toll Hike. Whoops. Toll Hike. Orchestrated. Eternal Galaxy. Now for the left side. Giant Ballpark. Danger Mothman. 
Orcus Brass Bombard. Gravekeeper Spiritualist. Okay, that was right. Sanctuary Falco. Foxy. Jack Jaguar. <laughs> what? What's going on with those cards? Herald of the Abyss. It's Gravekeeper's Headman. Since we're checking out Gravekeeper's effect in this box, if this card is summoned, target a level. Target one level four Gravekeeper's Monster in your grave. A special summon in attack position or face down defense. And you can only use the effect of this guy once per turn. This effect is unaffected by Necro Valley, obviously. <laughs> I was like, uh, that's not going to work. So, uh, interesting card. The fact that you can get a spy and put it face down is uh, pretty cool. Or you could just go get one of those guys in attack mode. And then you can tribute off the headman. Too bad he's not a tuner. Even though there's no sync. Is there synchros? <laughs> well, like I see. Part of plan. Oh, baby, there we go. Chaos Dragon. A Levine. Levineer? Levineer? Levineer. I wonder how they want you to say that. Um, but yes, very cool. Uh, this card's very good. Uh, so this is a H star monster chaos dragon, obviously. <laughs> uh, cannot be normal summoned. Must be special summoned by from your hand by banishing three light and or dark monsters from the grave. When summoned this way, apply the effect based on the attribute of the monsters used. Also cannot attack for the rest of the turn. Only light monsters. Special summon one monster from your grave in defense. Only dark. Shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand of the deck. Both light and dark, uh, destroy up to two cards on the field. You can only use this effect once per turn. Chaos Dragon, Levineer. Yeah, I feel like that's more. Very cool. So, um, that is a really good box. Actually, I'm just realizing. That is Thunder Dragon Titan and the Chaos Dragon in the same box. And uh, both of those are definitely above a $20 value, so... That is pretty crazy. Orchestrated the Eternal. Go ahead and sleeve up. Chaos Dragon. Have you guys seen any boxes with three secrets? I have not. Just curious. So that is a uh, pretty dang valuable box at this point. Though we haven't pulled any Thunder Dragon uh, Ultras. It still is a possibility though. So let's keep it up. Like I said, this is a massive opening, so this will be a longer video. Oh, baby, another Dragon Dark. Wow. Wow. Again, he's the searcher. He's going to be the one that retains value. That is crazy. Go ahead and sleeve up another one of those. Let's go, Kaiba boy. Wow. Okay. Well, that is uh, extreme value right there, guys. Noble Knights, Cyanet Fusion. And we are going to speed up at this point because I believe we have seen all supers. We have seen all rares. Justice for a hire. Patchwork. And so what we're missing now, I believe there's eight secrets in the set, you guys. Eight secrets, ten ultras. Galaxy Trance, that's a new one. To go with your Galaxy Eyes Solar Flare. Or was it Soul Flare? Soul Flare Dragon, sorry. Soul Flare Dragon. Extra Fullest Burial. Spiritualist is back. Two for one. Three packs left. Can we get another Thunder Dragon Ultra? Give it to us. Kaiba! Danger Dogman. The Dogman is back. But yes, ten Ultras in the set and eight... Ooh, Thunder Dragon Fusion. That is a Thunder Dragon Ultra. So, uh, booyah. Goki Pull. Gravekeepers. And last pack. Uh, we'll check out Thunder Dragon Fusion here in a second. But basically, you can freaking Fusion Summon using Banished Monsters. Some Summer Summoner. <laughs> cool. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Fusion Summon one Thunder Fusion Monster from your extra deck. By shuffling the Fusion Materials listed on... On into the deck from among cards in your field, in your grave, and or face up banished cards. During your main phase, except the turn that this was sent to the grave, um, you can add one a Thunder Dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Wow, you can banish this card to add one Thunder Dragon. I didn't know it was that good. Holy crap, dude. 
Wow. All right, so more Thunder Dragon cards. It's funny, is there ten? So there's ten ultras in the set. I think there's at least four Thunder Dragon ultras. Wow. Okay, you guys, good box there. Um, definitely holding some value with uh, two. Well, I think Thunder Dragon Titan, like I said, and Chaos Dragon are definitely your tier two secrets here for sure behind Big Boy. But let's see if we can get a Colossus. So uh, we're going to enter speed mode here, you guys. Uh, still searching for a couple other secrets, or well, four other secrets, to be precise. There is a Trap Tricks secret, or a Trap secret. There is, of course, Colossus. Another Danger card here, like the Nordic support. Second Expedition. Headman. The speed of our opening will be increased. Here we go. Remember, all cards on simplyunlucky.com. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, Thunder Dragon Titan. We got two of those bad boys. That is a... Uh, oh, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Heat Leo. <laughs> Freaking... Every time I look at that, I see Dragon Ball Z. What is it? I know his name, dang it. <clears throat> oh, baby. Thunder Dragon Titan. Here we go. Massive open. I mean, if we're going to pull two of any of those secrets, that's the one to do it to. Hero of the Abyss. Nice. Temple of our Gravekeepers. God, they're so spell and trap based, though, with Gravekeepers. Thunder Dragon Fusion again. <clears throat> Very good. Clock Wyvern. Diana. Okay. Two Thunder Dragon Titans, though. This is uh, already seeming pretty pretty nice. Mothman. Stenado. But yeah, in the comments below, you guys, I'd like to know your guys' opinions on uh, this whole Thunder Dragon uh, archetype. I know that it's very good against certain popular archetypes like the uh, Sky Strikers, cards that need to search through their decks or add cards from their deck to their hand, because uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus does not allow that. But overall, what do you guys think? Will they be at the top tier in the format? Will they be number one? I mean, the prices say something about the hype, that's for sure. Or it could just be the fact that they're short printed. Full go justice for hire. And then also, what do you guys think about the support for, uh, you know, like the different other archetypes in here? Danger cards as well. Danger Dogman. Has the OCG gotten the danger cards? I'm actually not too sure. I know it's a TCG, a TCG release. We got them first. Oh, baby. There we go. Thunder, Dragon, Dragon, Roar. Or sorry. Thunder, Dragon, Roar. There we go. Uh, you can discard this card to add to your hand one of your Thunder, Dragon cards that is banished or in the grave. Except this guy. If this card is banished, sent to the field of the grave, you can special summon one Thunder, Dragon monster from your deck in defense position. But return to the end during the end phase. And then you can only use one Thunder, Dragon, Roar effect per turn. Only once a turn. Absolutely insane. Again, cards are crazy good. Salaman Great, Eternal Galaxy. And then we'll go ahead and sleeve him up. Set our fusion over there for now. Thunder Dragon Roar. Okay, I believe we're missing one more of those Thunder Dragon Ultra Rares. Noble Knights. Patchwork, nice. Now for the left side. So yeah, what are the other archetypes? So we have Danger. I mean, Fright for. I know a lot of people are excited to get their Fright for cards. There's like pendulums now? Is it, is it seriously going to be a pendulum combination? That would be interesting. Crusadius. I feel like we're pulling a ton of this girl. What is going on? Or guy. A dude with long hair. Um, Ivane. 
Ostinato. Ostinato. Here we go. Still going to pull another secret. Oh, it is. Wow. I was feeling it. Was it in the same spot on the left side? It was on the right. I wasn't even sure. Orchestrated return again. Harp. Two for one. Orchestrated return. So now some summer summoner. Now we're looking for our ultra rare cards, you guys. Right for patchwork and a Cyber's Clock Dragon. I was like, whoa. That's really bad. That is our second Cyber's Clock Dragon, so we're good there. Still only four secrets. Like I said, this may be a longer video searching for the different Thunder Dragon cards here. Galaxy Brave, Orchestrated Babble. Always curious on that. Story behind those cards. A few more packs on the left side. Here we go. Massive opening. Uh, of Sky Striker Maneuver, Vector Blast. That card doesn't seem very easy to pull. And that is Constellation Prize. Massive opening of Soul Fusion, you guys. Danger Dogman is back. Again, why Dogman? Thunder Dragon Discharge. What does Discharge do? The activation of Thunder Monster effect cannot be negated once per turn. The Thunder Dragon Monster effect is normal, especially some of your time field. Turn one spell trap card and banish one Thunder Monster from your deck, and if you do, destroy that target. Wow. Just keep giving them that support. Okay, Orcrest Token Collector. Some dangerous cards, got some Thunder Dragon cards, and another Soul Flare Dragon. Nice, and last pack here. Let's keep it going. Alvis, then the Mystic Hilder. Okay, you guys, let's keep it up with our booster boxes here. This will now be booster box numero three. Let's see if we can show you guys the set. I know a bit more difficult to do with expansion sets or core sets, whatever you want to call this new set that is uh, entirely new cards. Do you like Core set sounds like the right word, and then sets like, I don't know, Savage Strike. Is it Savage Strike? Um, well, sets that are like all foils that have reprints in them. You know, that would be more of an expansion set. But you know. Core set's kind of confusing with like Magic Gathering. But it, I mean, it is a core set. It is a definitely very, very important set. Necro Valley. Necro Valley Throne. Wall of the Salaman Greats. This, fat, this uh, set feels a bit lonely. The only real nostalgic cards are Gravekeepers. Oh, baby, there we go. Danger. Um, Suchinoko. Question mark. Like, why question mark? Suchinoko. Because <laughs> it's not dangerous. They just found it. Um, this guy's really good, though, for uh, like low-level... Uh, reptile cards. Here we go. You can reveal this card in your hand and your opponent randomly chooses one card in the entire hand and you can discard um, the chosen card. Then, if this card, if the discarded card was not Danger Suchiono, special summon uh, one Danger Suchiono, <laughs> Suchinoko from your hand. And if you do draw a card, if this card is discarded, you can special summon this card. So, you can only use this effect once per turn. So, still really good. It gets special summon no matter what. It starts some different combos. <clears throat> Definitely a very, very valuable card as well. Good in different decks, not just danger. So we go ahead and use our Kaiba sleeves. Simplyunlucky.com. Booyah. And so now we have the two danger secrets. Was there a third? Not entirely sure. 
Got two Thunder Dragon Titans. And so what was that? Was that like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Just real quick, let's test it. 12, 11, 10. So it would be number 10. Oh, snap, Dizzle Pop! Oh, baby! Thunder Dragon Colossus! Wow! Uh, so, secrets on the same side as both sides. That's what I was testing. I did not think to get a box uh, with Suchi Noko and Thunder Dragon Colossus. Um, oh, baby. That's absolutely insane. So, here's your short print secret rare. Our friend, our buddy, um, 8 star, I believe. Is it Thunder Dragon? monster or thunder dragon plus one thunder dragon monster wow okay that is awesome so right away opening the box get two new secret rares and uh that's how we do it must either be fusion summon or special summon during the turn a thunder monster's effect was activated in the hand by tributing one thunder effect non-fusion monster um Must either be fusion summoned or special summoned during the turn a thunder monster's effect was activated in the hand by attributing one thunder effect non-fusion monster. In which case you do not use polymerization cards cannot be added from the main deck to your opponent's hand except when drawing them. If this card would be destroyed by battle or card effects you can banish one thunder monster from your graveyard instead. So thunder dragon colossus you guys we actually got him. We got him in two titans. We got both the dangerous cards. So now we're just missing the trap secret, and then I think one of our Thunder Dragon Ultras. Wow, very interesting to see the secret be on the same side on both sides, and then for it to be a Colossus. That's actually very cool. It's our video at about 40 minutes. I think we can do one more box after this. And nice! Or Crush or Young. <laughs> um, that is the one non-ultra Thunder Dragon card I think we needed. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very cool. Go ahead and sleeve that up as well. Wow. Thunder Dragon Colossus and Tsuchinoko in the same box, you guys. That is crazy. Very powerful card. Dogman. Yeah, but it's basically like Thunder King Ryo. They kind of gave it that effect, which is interesting to kind of see as a new powerful card. Agave. Thunder Dragon Duo. Part of Plants. Well, this, this, is, um, this is literally kind of the best box you can get other than getting Colossus with a Titan. Or somehow getting two Colossus. I've never seen that, but... Wow. Um, well, actually, I guess getting a Thunder Dragon Ultra would be really where it's at at the moment. So let's make it happen. So I'll leave in the heart of the cards, you guys. As we take a second expedition into danger. This is where you find the good, the good stuff. Powerful cards. On your second expedition. Extra Foolish, Tower of Babel, Orchestrated Babel, Heritage of the Chalice, there we go, another Ultra Rare we have not gotten, and I believe now all that we're missing is the last Thunder Dragon card, Heritage of the Chalice is very good though, add one Noble Knight monster or Noble Knight armed cards from your deck to your hand, deck or graveyard to your hand. Um, is destroyed by battle and sent to the grave while this card's in your grave you can add this card to your hand Dude, this is way good that card is extremely good you can search out a noble arms or a noble knight and if one of your guys dies with an equipment on them you can just bring this back to your hand yo that's crazy you can only use one of the effects so you can't activate it the same turn you bring it back but still um, like this is incredible for noble knights you can literally like just play three of these and then play some Noble Knights and 
Not even have to play a full Noble Knight deck. Alright. Mystics. Ooh, I know what secrets we're missing. We're missing the Trap Secret. And we're missing, um... The... Forbidden Chalice Scroll as like a demon. It's a really cool card. I'd like to show you guys that card. I think it's the least valuable in the set, but uh, again, still a really cool card. <laughs> okay, can we get some Thunder Dragon Ultras? That is the question right now. Gosh, these pictures have so much going on. I feel like. Some of these pictures really do cater towards the children's danger, Mothman. There's the Dragon Matrix. Bear Blocker. During your opponent's turn, set cards in your spell and stop cards cannot be destroyed by card effects. Huh. Thunder Dragon. Dragonhawk, oh baby! I was like, wait a minute, that is, that's the card. Alright, so Dragonhawk is really good. I believe he special summons from the grave. And then Clockman over here. We'll check him out just to make sure. Discard this card to special summon one of your Thunder Dragon monsters that's banished or in your grave. Wow. If this card's banished or sent for the field of the grave, you can shuffle any number of cards from Oh, you can mool again. Yeah, that one's good. Is that every single Ultra? I believe so, guys. That is every single Ultra in the set. So that is our three Thunder Dragon monsters. Well, I guess it's four Thunder Dragon cards. You got the Dragon Dark, the Dragon Hawk, and the Dragon Roar. This is a really good four boxes, honestly. <laughs> um, Suchinoko, Thunderbird, the two, two Titans and the Colossus. Um, but yeah, I got all these guys. Again, not very easy to pull, these Thunder Dragon cards. And then our other Ultras over here. I believe there's 10 in the set, so six more Ultras. Orchestrated cards, Galaxy Eyes, a uh, Hand Trap for Noble Knights, Danger Response Team, a freaking Search for Noble Knights. That's crazy, I guess. Cyber's Clock. Freaking Search spell for Noble Knights, though. That's crazy. So, overall, pretty good lineup of Ultras, for sure, for helping out these archetypes. Um... But let's keep going here. I think we still have one more Ultra to pull out of this box. Mystic again. Matrix. So yeah, missing the Trap Secrets and our Chalice Girl. Some summer. Summertime sadness. Some summer summoner. Summertime sadness. <laughs> um... Four more packs left on this side. Thunder Dragons. A Heat Leo. And here we go. Last few packs. Sign up. So at this point we have pulled all the Ultras, but this is when you're gonna wanna see duplicates of the Thunder Dragon Ultras, or if you're wanting your, your uh, Noble Knights cards, you know? That could be a thing. I don't know about having too many Cybers Clock Dragons. Still a pretty fun card. And second expedition to our last pack of Destiny. Here we go. Part of the cards guide us. Danger! Danger! It's the response team. Responding to a dangerous situation. Mercedes. Should we do one more box, you guys? Will this be a double Colossus case? Let's do, let's do one more. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this open. It's funny, did some shenanigans and pulled a, a screw the rules. We did some screw the rules shenanigans and pulled a Colossus. But if you guys, again, didn't understand what I did there, I took the pack that was on the even, that was in the same slot on the left side that it, the secret was on the right, and it was the secret. So, if you're a card store owner, or you're selling your friends some packs, you might want to shuffle them up a little bit, 
and not take out the ultra on one side or secret on one side for yourself. Um, but it's looking to me, is it really going to be the third pack again? Let's see. Galaxy Eye Sulfur. Okay. Well, <coughs> let's go ahead and uh, open these normally. That was number three. And number one is Suchinoko. Wow. That is a really good secret. I'm happy to pull it. Suchinoko to start it off. So I believe this pack should be our secret. So let's just go ahead and pop open the rest of the box. See if we can get a double Colossus box or if we can get one of those cards we did not pull yet. This will be the moment of truth, you guys. Believe in the heart of the cards. Give it to us, Kaiba. And again, you guys, post in the comments below uh, your thoughts on some of these different archetypes. And... Remember, all, all cards are available on simplylucky.com. If you guys would like to see a duel between uh, two of the archetypes in this set, um, maybe not full meta. I know some of you guys have been complaining that we aren't using decks that are like top tier in the meta, even when there is a top tier deck of the uh, version of the deck, or highest tier of the version, highest tier of the deck. But um, yeah, let us know in the comments below what two decks you'd like to see. And we can do our best. Like, I just don't think we'll play hand traps, something like that. And we'll just do a duel with the, using the archetype cards. Something, somewhere around those lines. I mean, I personally think that would be fun. And then the Jaden uh, Yusei duel will be our next duel though that we're doing. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. I know a lot of you guys we're really looking forward to it. So definitely going to have to make that happen. Morgan. Did I say Morgana before? Oh man. Like I don't even play League that much anymore and it's still such a big part of my thought process for fantastical creatures. Three more packs. Okay. Extra Foolish Burial. But uh, what else have we been up to? So we have a huge, remember you guys, I mentioned in a video before, um, 1,000 pack opening on Simple and Lucky TV. And so that is going to start very soon, if not the video, not a day after this video is posted, but um, this weekend for sure. And so with that, we're going to start doing bundles for each individual video on there. We'll call it like um, SUTV bundle, 1000 pack opening bundle one, something like that for all the cards we open on there. And so that'll be interesting. And, uh, but yeah, we're doing 1000 pack opening on SUTV and I will be in Japan for 20 days from the 25th to the 25th of October to 15th. Nice, Dragon Dark again. That's a play set, baby. Um, but yeah, from the 25th of October to 15th of November. And we have a really epic um, video series kind of planned out for you guys. Playing off like the uh, Halloween theme that's going to be going on while I'm gone. So we're working really hard to get that ready for you guys. And so hopefully you guys end up enjoying it and being excited about it and not thinking it's too clickbaity. I know like we did with the tune openings, um, but maybe this time in the titles will make it not so crazy. But uh, but yeah, we're really excited to do something really cool for you guys. And also, um, shout out to Dizif. Dizif, I don't know how he wants us to say that name, but uh, he gave us a review of our tune uh, deck or tune custom cards, actually, or five tune custom cards for Konami. And I guess maybe we should put custom cards in the title there. But uh, yeah, it was an epic review. And um, I just wanted to thank everybody who did check out that video because initially the video didn't get too many views. And as other people started kind of checking out, reviewing it, it slowly got more views over time. But um, yeah, that was actually, it took us a long time to do that video. And so, good, good. 
three days of work for five different people at least. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, we're thinking of maybe doing some more custom cards, not just tunes. So uh, be prepared. Thunder Dragon Fusion to go with our Thunder Dragon Ultras we're pulling at the moment. And I believe is that pretty much it for Ultras. And um, so yeah, just have a ton of videos planned for you guys. Simple and Lucky TV will be going off the wall with uh, some more Yu-Gi-Oh content. And we're thinking about posting more Magic the Gathering and Pokemon content on Simple and Lucky TV, but overall, we're thinking to make it more Yu-Gi-Oh themed and maybe doing some vlog type videos to go with. But of course, doing the 1000 pack opening over there, so go check it out when you get a chance. Simple and Lucky TV. All right, you guys, last pack of Destiny here. This was the first pack on the left side, so it is a guaranteed secret because for some of the cases, anyways, it looks like Soul Fusion put the secret in the same spot on the right as the left. So um, let's go ahead and pop it open. Obviously, Thunder Dragon Colossus would be nice. Um, again, it's one or two per case. Um, and then from there, we're going to uh, be hoping to get maybe the trap or the little forbidden chalice girl because we haven't seen those yet. But again, I don't want to make the video too long. And, oh wow, it's a freaking Thunderbird. It's a, it's a danger box, you guys. We got Tsuchinoko and Thunderbird in the same box. That is a dangerous box, even though these monsters don't look too dangerous. I guess the Thunderbird's pretty dangerous. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments below, too, about the ratios in this set. We, that's really something different that Konami's been doing lately with these last few sets. I'm um, just messing with ratios and short printing cards that are good and not increasing the rarity. Like, I'm all down for short printing cards that you know are going to be expensive. I get it. It's a market and you want to make money, but like... At least give us an epic rarity for it. You know, make it ultimate. Make it ghost. See, not ghost maybe, but just give us a higher rarity. Parallel, secret, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all this. And uh, again, if you guys want to see a duel between two archetypes from this set, what would you like them to be? You say duel, uh, you say Jaden duel coming soon. And remember, all cards are available on simpleandlucky.com. And of course, uh, the first round of wholesale prices for simply... Uh, VIP program over on Patreon have gone through um, so we may have to raise the price for these boxes but uh, I know most of you guys ordered freaking I think there's four cases some of you guys were ordering cases so uh, yeah we sold a ton over on there at wholesale price uh, $55 a box over on uh, Patreon so go check out simply VIP program when you guys get a chance as well and uh, yes as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply, unlucky, signing out.